Hi guys, welcome to Empath Joe. Thank you for joining me. I hope this reading resonates for you. Sagittarius, welcome in guys. Thank you ever so much for joining me once again for another love reading with myself, Joe. Before we do get started, Sagittarius, if you are wanting to book a personal reading with myself, then please do check the details in the description below. You'll find out how to book one there. Let's get into it, guys. Your first card is the Lovers. And then we have the Four of Pentacles, the Ferrolet, the King of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, Seven of Cups. With the Lovers, this is a strong connection you have here. Uh, quite a deep connection you have, more than likely a spiritual connection, I'm feeling very much so um although you are connecting with this person i feel sagittarius whether this be you or your person okay this could be your person and you could be connecting with a gemini it doesn't have to be though um it's almost as if they are wanting to unlock they're wanting to have the key to your heart and they want wanting to unlock your heart they want to get deeper to you then okay they want to get deeper into you they want to know you on a very deep level yeah so they um with the fairy lit this is like the magician's daughter then yeah or the magician's muse whatever you want to call it okay but it's it's almost as if you're being quite strategic um about learning these things about your person mm. Go, going into very, that's very interesting i'm going to clarify that card i'm very intrigued guys Let's go look here for Sagittarius. Okay. So we have the Ten of Wands to clarify that and the Queen of Swords. Okay, so more than likely, uh, your person is quite a strong-willed person, quite a strong-minded person. Um, your person can even be a bit demanding, but not in an overbearing way. Your person knows what she wants. Uh, why did I say she? He or she wants, okay? And... They demand it in a very, in a way that you like them. You're not wanting things to end with this person here. I don't feel like there are any endings. I think you're doing the best you can to avoid there being any endings here. Okay, Sagittarius. And with the King of Pentacles. So let's just say that's your person trying to avoid things uh, ending with you. They've been very cautious, very careful and very strategic. Okay. They know that you deserve stability or they know that that's what you want. OK, you could even be dealing with a and what's I say, a Gemini and an Earth sign at the same time. Um, and you don't you don't have to be dealing with them romantically, but that's also a possibility. And an Earth sign being Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. OK, you know that your person uh, deserves stability. They, they deserve even commitment. I'm going to go as far to say that. And um, although that's not going to happen overnight, but, you know, it's just doing anything to avoid the bond that you have here. As I said, you may have two people with the two of wands here and that's making a decision, Not might not even be sure which way to go. But I feel like someone is weighing more heavier on your heart. With the seven of cups, there is some sadness. Someone's gonna be sad in this situation. Perhaps you're sad because you're not, um, you've not reached the goal that you thought you would have reached by now. Perhaps you feel let down by them in some way. Perhaps you are feeling rejected uh, by them in some way or perhaps you don't even know how to express yourself to them yeah Sagittarius we are reading on what do we have here we have the ace of swords queen of wands queen of wands being you guys okay uh we also have the sun and the nine of wands so guys with the ace of swords this is someone being truthful I did get lots of truth there with the queen of swords as a clarifying card but with the ace of swords this is something new so this might be new news to you new new truth to you perhaps your person has two people and that's kind of making you feel sad that's making you feel like you stand you don't stand a chance okay you feel like your person has got their guards up so high or you feel like they're not even too focused on you yeah there could even be a leo around with the sun card but the sun is pretty much happiness joy excitement you know, on the good path of life, <laughs> um, in tune with oneself even. So 
and then we've also got the Queen of Wands. As I said, this is you guys, Sagittarius. This is fire energy as well as the sun. So this is uh, you being happy. This is more than likely how your person sees you. It, you make your person very, very happy, I must say. Um, or they make you extremely happy. And but more than likely both. This is a mutual thing. But um, I can't help but feel that you think you're being overlooked here or misunderstood. Yeah? something around that okay but if, if that's the case then you, you you need to be honest with yourself and speak your truth even if your voice shakes speak up okay move on to your oracle card sagis oracle got to say these cards are just not yeah they're not wanting to do anything today so we, we shall move on to crystal angels Oh, lovely. That's a nice card, if you can see it. Wow. Okay, let's do this. So we have ceremonies and celebrations. It's a time of important life passages, such as weddings, birthdays and graduations or anniversaries. So perhaps there's some celebrations going on right now. Ready to love again. You've healed from the past enough to open your heart to new love. You are ready to love again. But are they? That's the question here, Sag. Increase support. Your positive focus and willingness to receive have opened the doorway to an abundance of help and opportunities. Oh, lovely. Need I say no more? Any more, rather. Bless your heart. Reach out for emotional and spiritual support to heal and mend your heart. Sagittarius, that has been your reading. Please take what resonates and leave whatever doesn't. And thank you ever so much for joining me. And thank you all for your kind support and love on my channel so far, guys. I am very, very grateful. Uh, sending you all lots of peace, love and light. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. And take care until next time.